thank you so much for attending the summit and for rolling with us through our transition from having a live face-to-face -face summit to this wonderful virtual summit. Um, I just wanted to offer some closing remarks and some thank yous and make sure that we um, pull it all together here at the end of the morning. Um, we can go ahead and start with our slides. So one thing that I wanna do is make sure that we offer this here. This is our flyer. Um, so this is a advertisement of basically everything that went on today. Um, you can still look at the CHW agenda to get presenter names and contacts and that sort of thing, but we'll also share that. At the bottom, you'll see the certificate of participation. So for everybody who's concerned about their continuing ed credits, um, this is the instruction for that. Make sure you um, complete your survey, which uh, Jordan should be linking into the chat box um, throughout, this, throughout this conclusion. And then we want to do our special thanks to Health Collaborative Board, Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Texas, Community First Health Plans, Bayer County Economic Development and Community Resources, Mays Family Foundation, San Antonio Area Foundation, and San Antonio Metro Health. And of course, to all the community health workers, some additional thanks that I want to um, to express is also to the presenters, Carlos Rodriguez, Fred Schellenberg, Chuck Paul, Dr. Alan Lynn, Martha Pelayas, Genesis Sanchez, Dr. Cynthia Phelps, Belanita Jimenez, and Paulina Cano for contributing their energy and expertise to the 2020 Community Health Worker Summit. We also want to acknowledge and thank NowCast and Executive Director Charlotte Ann for providing their technical expertise and skill set. Nowcast has been live streaming for 10 years, has been informing and engaging people about public policy, health, the environment, education, and culture. And in addition, Gina Eisenberg, president of the Eisenberg Group, continues to be vital within the key successes of the Health Collaborative Outreach. So those are all people that we want to thank, not to mention, not to leave out Jordan, McElveen, Anel Flores. Um, these were some of the, a couple of the um, moderators in the rooms today. So you'll have to make sure that you send them a shout out and a thank you as well. And let me go back, back to my community health worker page. I want to, I want to share something with the community health workers. Um, this day is all about you and all about the work that you're doing. So I wanted to make sure that we acknowledged you guys. So a community health worker provides cultural mediation between healthcare, social services in the community. A promotora, a community health worker, is a trusted member and has a close understanding of the ethnicity, language, socioeconomic status, and life experiences of the community served. A promotora assists people to gain access to needed services and builds individual, community, and system capacity. They help increase health, knowledge, and self-sufficiency through a range of activities such as outreach, patient navigation, follow-up, community health education and information, informal counseling, social support, advocacy, and participation in, in, in clinical research. So today and every day, the Health Collaborative celebrates each of our community health workers. We celebrate your unique walk through life, how you relate to the community. We celebrate your individual stories of who you are and the sacred intentions you each hold for your neighborhoods that you grew up in and the neighborhoods that you serve. We celebrate your ever readiness to be engineers of innovation, strategic planning, on the spot crisis resolution. We celebrate you as you walk with your clients through their triumphs and support them through despair while not always receiving the recognition that you deserve. In addition to highlighting the vital roles each of you serve in the community, we wanna honor our Marta Castilla. She's our CHW certified instructor, has a lifetime of promotora experience, values, integrity, and deep rooted passion for the community she lives and serves in. Marta's a dedicated promotora works alongside her cohort as she instills core competencies and offers unending support and guidance. So I can't hear you guys, but I'm gonna ask you to give yourselves a round of applause. And I really wanna express the gratitude that we have for you guys um, uh, through the Health Collaborative. And so moving forward, we have some announcements. 
give me a minute to what yeah yeah so our continuing education um you've got the on this on the previous slide let me go back on this bottom part here you, you'll have your instructions on what qualifies you for your hours and then also you have a LinkedIn survey monkey. The bottom part is not showing on the slides, Sophia. Um, for, oh, okay. I can't, I don't know why, so, but that's not showing up for people right now. So let me let me read it out. And then I think Jordan should be putting the link in, in the chat box. So you'll get five hours um, to be awarded to those of you who attend the summit, complete the survey at the end. And then there's very specific information um, regarding non-certified and DISH's CHW certification renewal. So I can ask, I'm gonna ask Jordan to paste that blurb into the chat as well, just so you're very clear on what you're eligible for and that sort of thing. Um, are we seeing that in chat? Do we have a conversation on community? Yes, on yes, the, the survey is showing survey up there. Awesome, okay. So uh, another piece of this is I think I mentioned before, um, the presentations, the resources, the contacts for today's summit will be available. We'll be sending those out to you. And I wanna do another quick uh, mention of the nominations. I know Jordan and I were prompting that through the chat feed, but CHW recognition, recognition nominations for CHW and supervisors, applications will be mailed to, email to everyone after this summit. We'll be hosting the 17th annual Texas Health Literacy Conference in October. We'll be hosting a reception where all recipients will be honored and the tentative date is gonna be October 8th. Um, Mayor's proclamation will be posted on the website for anyone who wants to download it. But if you want to get a printed copy, uh, go ahead and send the request to info at healthcollaborative.net. And let's go ahead with some more information for you guys. Um, how frontline workers can help in the corona pandemic. So I know this is, of course, a topic that is very hot right now. This is something that I'm sure is at the forefront of each of your minds. So I'm going to run through a couple of slides here, and then uh, we'll see if we've got any uh, specific questions in the chat, and then we'll go ahead and close. Um, communication skills, the communication skills that you guys possess and that you're practicing out in the field, listening to concerns, using respectful language, appropriate to their literacy level, interpret educational materials, dispel myths, and be honest when you don't know an answer. Um, and of course, the follow-up to that is always, I will get you an answer. I will research and find out what uh, resources best fit your situation. Um, service coordination skills, know your local resources and testing information. Some of those topics came up today um, in the presentations. So, of course, like we said, you'll have access to those uh, PowerPoints and those phone numbers. Spread reliable information about other healthcare services. Make sure other chronic conditions are being managed. Refer people to mental health services when needed. These are your interpersonal skills. The skills each and every one of you most likely possess innately, and that's why you chose this field. Build relationships with local resources, media outlets. Find the need and help to fill it. Use cultural competency when interacting with vulnerable populations. Identify any concerns of mistrust and what are those reasons. Capacity building, help community members, patients and clients identify what they need to prepare, find a need and help to fill it. Coach your own mental health during isolation and crisis. And of course, Dr. Phelps presentation really did speak to that. So there's a lot of resources there and on her website as well. And that's my last slide. Um, one last thing I want to chat about is our growhealthytogether.com link. Um, if you want to know more about Health Collaborative and Grow Healthy Together Pathways Community Hub, you can always call us. Click on our link. We've got um, different ways to access us via email, uh, phone contact. Um, and in addition, if you know anyone who's in need of care coordination, send us the referral. And Right now, we're placing extra focus on supporting pregnant women and families with children at risk. But of course, anybody experiencing multi-complex needs is encouraged to reach out to our team and from there we'll uh, get them to a CHW that's closest to their location via our referral coordinator. 
So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. The Health Collaborative um, wants to make sure that you guys have all the information you need. If there's anything else that needs to get addressed, please put it in the chat and we'll be addressing those uh, at the close of today and emailing you guys any information that you need. Um, is there anything coming through the chat that I can specifically answer right now? Um, one thing you need to know is that the slides are down. You can close your PowerPoint. Okay. Oh, here we are. Let's see. Jordan's definitely on top of it, sending those links out. Okay. Well, thank you, everybody, for attending. I appreciate everybody's participation and attention and the gratitude you guys have shown throughout the day for the presenters. Um, thank you so much. Everybody enjoy your afternoon, and we will see you out there.